Hey Rascals, Miss Silva here. And in celebration of Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, um, I have a story for you. And this story is called Ravi's Roar and it's written by Tom Percival. So I hope you enjoy the story. Ravi's Roar. Ravi was the youngest and the smallest in the family. Everyone was bigger than him. You can see here, they're measuring everyone's height on the wall and he's the shortest. Even Biscuits, the dog. Most of the time being the smallest was great. But sometimes, just sometimes it wasn't. One day, Robbie and his family went on a picnic. There was a race to the train. Guess who came last? Ravi. Everyone else got a comfy seat, but Ravi had to squeeze in with dad and biscuits. Then biscuits made a bad smell. When everyone got to the park, they played hide and seek. It was meant to be fun, but Ravi couldn't find anyone. At the playground, the monkey bars were too high. The gaps between the logs were too wide. And when Ravi wanted to go on the big slide, the man said, sorry, son, you're too small. Ravi got so mad that his face turned red. But then dad said, come on, let's get ice cream. Everybody ran off. Guess who came last? Ravi. And then when Ravi went to get his ice cream, he wasn't too happy. There was none left. Well, that really did it. Ooh, look at how angry he is. Ravi was furious. He growled and a, stri a strippy tail popped out from his, the back of his shorts. Then he sprouted two furry ears, sharp pointy teeth and stripy orange fur. Ravi had turned into a tiger. The tiger took a huge deep breath and then Roared. Ravi's brother looked a bit nervous and handed the tiger his ice cream. When the tiger went to sit down, there were no open benches. So he roared and everybody got out of his way. It was great being a tiger. The tiger did all the things that Ravi couldn't. He swung across the monkey bars. He leaped across the logs. He even slid down the big slide. Nobody dared to tell him no. So the tiger went wild. He roared and growled and did exactly what he wanted. Roar! but soon he found that nobody wanted to play with him. Suddenly the tiger felt a bit sad and nowhere near as angry. In fact, he couldn't quite remember what had made him so angry in the first place. <clears throat> I'm sorry, said the tiger in a quiet voice. And when he said that, everything felt better. That's okay, said dad. Good job for saying sorry. Then without even realizing, Ravi became a boy once more. And that was the last time Ravi ever turned into a tiger.
Although every now and then he did have a bit of a growl. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed the story, rascals, and I'll see you later.